Hey everyone, hope you had an awesomely amazing super duper day. I'm just uh, warming up because it's a winter day out and it's so cold. So I'm just trying to warm up. <laughs> Very cold. Um, so last, you saw my uh, last video and you should really check it out. Um, I talk about my my mother, more emphasis on my mother, but growing up in different backgrounds. Because my mother was always thought of everyone else and put everyone ahead of her and always wanted to know how you were. And just pure goodness and, and not a bad bone in her body and, and just very loyal to everyone and, and everyone. I mean, everyone. And remember to give it a thumbs up. So, uh, my mom was the glue in the face. After she passed away of breast cancer, it was a two-year battle, um, and she was just the most positive person you would just never know because she really um, never complained, and she always wanted to know like how you were. She was completely a selfless woman and just so beautiful in so many ways and really had this beautiful heart, so much love to give, and, and love to offer the world. Uh, everybody loved her, everybody. So, big hearts for warm hearts, woohoo! And remember to give a like on this video, and subscribe, woohoo, party! Woo! So, um, I wanted to discuss my father my father was a complicated man. He had, you know, much depth to him. He had many different sides. He had a great personality, very personable. He would woo and finesse anyone he encountered, any restaurants he went into. Everybody just welcomed him in. He was a man of humor. He told the best jokes. And, you know, I was, I was his little girl. I mean, I, had, I was the youngest of five. And, um, you know, I'm like a spit image of him in some ways, in some respects. And I am all cozy and just enjoying the night and thought I'd share with you some stuff. I grew up in New York City and was just so fortunate to have had such a diverse life and full of culture. And I was just exposed to all walks of, of life and humanity. And, and just saw the extremes of pretty much um, everything and anything goes in New York City, if you're familiar. It's a great place. Um, the Upper West Side is where I grew up. And I had really great parents that loved each other very much and um, raised my sister and I, and we had other um, half-siblings from previous marriages, and but there were you know, I consider them full. Um, my father, uh, he was just so generous. He was a great provider. He was charming. He was charismatic. He had a great personality, really great way with words and people. And he was so full of life. And he, um, you know, just had a very full life, I would say, even at like 18. I mean, the guy just kept going. He walked miles ahead of people. Um, he was always on the go. And his father, my grandfather, was a famous Broadway show producer. He produced over 18 Broadway shows. And I've just been very um, fortunate to to grow up in, in that atmosphere, you know, going to Broadway shows. And um, he had a, a restaurant called Joe's Pier 52 in Midtown really great seafood restaurant. I'd have all my birthday parties. He had an apartment in like the penthouse in Central Park West where we had Thanksgiving um, parades there that we would see, the Macy's Thanksgiving parades. And you look out the window and the floats were so close, you could just like touch them. I mean, it was, it was amazing. And I just remember that as a little girl and growing up and going to my grandfather's house in Fire Island, the Pines. And it's such a great, like lively gay community. And, and you know, I had um, 
being exposed in that lifestyle with Broadway shows and stuff. I had uh, Tommy Toon help me as a baby and all the big players. So, um, you know, I, I would say it's a pretty good damn uh, childhood, you know, to to have that privileged life. And, um, you know, I, I also thank my dad for for giving me that like rich life as far as you know, being um, exposed to a lot of things and culture and being able to have the opportunities to, um, you know, perform and be in ballet. I've, I've studied ballet for so many years, so I appreciate the arts. And um, it's just, it's been a great, great life, great journey. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing all the stories. And I have, I really have a bunch of stories. But um, I will say that my parents unfortunately passed away. And so, um, you know, I, I really wish that my mother could have met my kids. I have three beautiful children that she would have just absolutely loved. So it's, um, you know, very sad that she wasn't around to get to meet them because they're really great and she would have loved them a lot. And, um, you know, my father, did know them, but he died, passed away. Um, he got hit by a taxi in Manhattan, and he kept um, going through a lot of surgeries, and that just aged him a lot. It took a lot of life out of him because, uh, you know, going through all that. So that was just that he, he passed away um, after his 80th surprise party that we threw for him at, at the rehab when he was just about to come home and get better um, he just went downhill after that and that's awful because he's been through a number let me tell you and um, those crazy cab drivers in the city better watch out because you're not looking where you're going you're gonna like kill somebody like that's horrible um, so watch out for those pedestrians crossing the road and look where you're going um, but knowing my dad he jaywalked because he was always so fast you know he's he needed to be in the spotlight he was just like go 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 so I'm sure you know something like that happened but he um, is definitely missed along with my mother and um, so I will tell you more stories soon thank you yeah I wish that I could have known my grandparents like I've never met my grandma but my grandpa um I do remember him a little bit, but he died like three, four years ago, so, yeah. What do you remember about him? Do you remember going to trips to the city to visit him and yeah, how fun that was? I remember, yeah, that was really fun. I remember that. I also remember um, his house. I remember the apartment I grew up yeah. in, right? Yeah, not the not house. I remember the building where they had the um it was on it was like it was um in this huge building. And yeah, that's what I remember.